Hey guys, I wanted to create this video based on some questions about some mothers that are breastfeeding and they wanted to know, how do we transition from breast milk to actual food, okay? Now, the ideal situation is that you breastfeed for 18 years, and I'm being totally sarcastic, okay? But it would be ideal for you to breastfeed at least for one year, um, but even longer would be better. And what I'm gonna show you is in addition to the breast milk, but you might not even need to do this right here if your child is content with the breast milk. Now, let me just back up for a second. It's really, 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 really important um, what a mother consumes two years before they become pregnant. So always plan it out. And I'm sure that's what happened to you, right? You plan it out for at least five years and you started to grow a healthy body. So that way, when you're growing this baby, that baby has everything that they need, okay? Uh, some key foods for the mother are plant-based trace minerals, very, very important, uh, like especially like iodine, selenium, cobalt, manganese, all these minerals, very important to prevent issues like um, malformation of your jaw uh, and the teeth, uh, and even scoliosis or flat feet, just to prevent all that stuff. Nutritional yeast for the B vitamins, very, very important. Fat-soluble vitamins, vital. Cod liver oil, I like that the best. Um, High-quality meats. Um, so those are some things that a mother should consume. And the other thing that's really important is eggs. So some mothers during the later part of pregnancy consume like six or more eggs per day. And you might think, wow, that's a lot of cholesterol. But all that cholesterol is necessary to develop hormones in the cellular membranes of that fetus. So it's very, very important. Don't, don't go low fat, that's for sure. And I don't like the idea of a uh, prenatal that's synthetic gives a food-based uh, nutrient. Okay, that being said, the digestive system of this baby is not developed yet, so you have to go slowly, watch for any reactions. Um, we don't have the normal flora in the gut. What's interesting is that infant um, produces a good amount of lactase, which is the enzyme to break down lactose, milk sugar. So babies were designed to consume breast milk. Um, when we get a little older, uh, that enzyme kind of goes away. So that's why you have people that are lactose intolerant. They don't have the enzyme to break down the milk sugar. All right, cholesterol, I already talked about that. Really important in growth and in hormones. Now, you want to avoid cereals and grains for sure for these babies because um, you see that all the time. Like you go to the store and they sell baby cereal. Like you don't want to do that because that's going to block minerals. It's refined carbohydrates, not very good. Breast milk um, doesn't have a lot of vitamin D. So unless you're getting sun, take some additional vitamin D3. You can also get it directly for the infant in these little bottles and just give your infant a small amount each day, unless you can get sun, that would be even better. Okay, so right about four months, um, there's two things that you want to enhance the breast milk with. And these are just additional things. It's not a food replacement, it's just an enhancement. Um, the egg yolk, not the white. The white you can have at, at year one, so you boil the eggs, take the yolk out, mash it with a little sea salt, and that's one thing you would wanna feed your baby. And cod liver oil, okay, those two things right here. Make sure you get the virgin cod liver oil. It's more expensive, but it's high quality. And um, you'd be surprised how much your baby likes it. You can get a little dropper full and put about a fourth of a teaspoon or even a little spoon and give it to your baby. And Lucy, who is my granddaughter, just loves it. Now, what's unique about cod liver oil that's not in fish oil is that not only do we have an important essential fatty acids, omega-3, DHA, and EPA, which are essential for brain development and nervous system development and immune development, but it has vitamin A and vitamin D, two really, really key um, vitamins. So then at the sixth month, you can give your child a little puree meat. Of course, you can also continue to give egg yolk and cod liver oil, um, but make sure it's grass-fed. Um, the infant that's developing doesn't need carbohydrate. They need protein and fat mostly, and animal protein and fat is gonna be the best source. A little avocado would be fine at this point, just a little bit to see how they respond to it. Start to feed the microbes at this age. All right, so now at six to eight months, you can introduce uh, like carrot, beet, maybe even a little sweet potato. I would steam these or cook them, add some butter, grass-fed, and uh, just a little bit and introduce a little bit with the breast milk, of course, and unsweetened kefir, just a little bit, okay? Uh, goat's milk kefir is gonna be way better 
than cow's milk kefir. Then at eight months, uh, you can add some vegetable soups, stews, uh, and cottage cheese. Make sure this is organic. Make sure these are homemade. Then at one year, you can do a little bit of nut or nut butter, maybe a little seeds, uh, vegetable, and the whole egg. But make sure you germinate the seeds in the nuts because um, they have enzyme inhibitors and other anti-nutrients that could be a problem. So anyway, I just wanted to create this uh, quick video. And for those women that absolutely cannot breastfeed, there's a really good recipe from Western Price. I'm going to put a link down below. Um, it does take a little bit of work to make it, but I think it's way, way more superior than anything out there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.